Hey, Miss Andrea here, again with a new art video. Today I thought we would make a mobile. Um, I kind of thought a mobile could kind of work well with birds or study of birds. Um, so first I'll show you some examples of mobiles that I've made in the past and even a mobile that my friend made for me. Um, so this mobile I made a long time ago and it is created with leather and driftwood and it even has a little nut in it. So it's, um, mobiles can be just a singular hanging object or it could be, uh, have multiple hangings. Um, so that's one. And then the other one, my really good friend who I grew up with, you know, I'm still good friends with to this day, made me this beautiful mobile. This mobile has a little bit more going on. It has an, um, a pine cone and it has some beads. It even has these little dried flowers on the end. So you can really use lots of different uh, materials to make mobiles. Um, I've also seen different mobiles with origami, um, found objects outside, or even little stuffed animals. So you could even create little sewed projects and add to it. Today, what I used was I am using sticks for the hanging portion. So I used sticks and I used some leather string to hold it all together. And I'm going to hang off of this top part um, birds that I created using cardboard and um, a string and I painted them. So I have a couple different ones. I'm gonna show you how I made my birds and kind of um, how to put them on the stick portion of it. It can be a little tricky. I know when I made this part, um, I kind of needed help from my husband to hold on to it for me um, to be able to wrap it nice and secure. I even added a little bit of hot glue to it to help make sure that the um, leather wrapping wouldn't come undone. So I'm going to show you the bird part and um, kind of what materials I used for it. So here's a nice visual of my workspace. You can kind of see maybe a little bit better the different examples I showed you. Um, the one that I made myself with some driftwood and some leather. And then here, I'll put that off to the side. And then the one that my friend created for me with the pine cones and the beads and the dried flowers. So there's another example. So I created a couple different birds. I did um, the black cap chickadee and I created a robin and I created a blue bird. So not a blue jay, but a blue bird. And then here in front of me, I have a goldfinch that I have yet to piece together. Um, so the way I did this was I just made simple silhouettes of a bird's body, the bird's wings, and the bird's tail out of cardboard. Then I painted it um, after I cut it out, of course. And then let me show you what I used to kind of cut it up and piece it together. Um, great, a great resource to have are scissors to cut out the bird. Um, an X-Acto knife or a box cutter is really helpful. It's good if you're using anything this sharp to have um, a parent's help if you've never used anything like it before. Um, a safety pin and a sewing needle. I also am using um, fake sinew, uh, which I really like to work with because it's a little waxy and it's really hard. I like the natural brown color of it, um, but you could also use just any kind of string or ribbon um, or yarn or fish, uh, fish string if you want it to be invisible. So let me just kind of show you how I created my 3D bird. So like I said, I cut out the pieces, I painted them, and then now what I have to do, I'm gonna move these things off to the side. I'm going to cut a line, try to cut a line kinda maybe a little bit more front of the bird, 
across its belly to where I would think that I would find wings on a bird. So I'm just gonna very carefully cut that. Might have to even flip it over. Now you can see that I'm doing this on um, a pad of paper that I'm okay if it gets cut off, cut up. I wouldn't wanna do this directly on the, my, kit, my table because then it could cut into my table. I'm also not holding it up while I cut it. I'm, I'm, I have it somewhat down, so that way the sharp tip is always facing away from me. I'm gonna flip it over and make sure it's nice and clean cut on the other side. And I'm just taking my time. I'm using it almost like I'd use a pencil or a pen. And like I said, this can be a little, this part can be a little tricky, so it's okay if you need some help from a, from a parent or a friend or an, any adult at home. So then you just take your wings. I say I painted both sides. Um, I think we need to use the side facing up. And you weave it very carefully into the center of the bird. So I'm doing this very carefully because one, I don't want my cardboard to get misshapen. Also two, I don't want to scrape any of my paint off. So I'm just wiggling it in ever so slow, being really delicate and careful with it. And then there you go, I have my bird with its wings on it. And now for the back tail part, I'm going to create a little V shape. I found that just a slice in it wasn't enough. It didn't fit um, over the cardboard. So I just cut a little V. And then I'm gonna add it onto the tail. I also found that it didn't stay on very well if I just put it on like that. I found that I did have to use a little bit of hot glue um, to attach it. And then now for the pin. So the reason why I use the pin is because I'm gonna have to put a hole at the top of it so I can string it. So I will eventually attach it to my mobile. So I'm gonna use that. Now, this is kind of the tricky part. You kind of have to play around with it. So if you see if I'm holding it here, it automatically just wants to drop that way because the tail part is kind of heavy. So I'm gonna to wanna to maybe put the hole a little bit closer to the top of the wings. Uh, no, maybe I wanna go down closer to the heaviness of the tail. Yeah, that seems to work a little bit better if I go right at the bottom of the wings. Now yours might turn out a little differently based off of the material that you're using and how heavy your bird is. So I'm gonna try this hole right here. I'm making sure my hand is nowhere near the other side so I don't poke myself. And there we go. Now I'm gonna get some of my sinew. I'm gonna give myself quite a bit of sinew to work with so that way when I add my birds to my mobile, I kind of want to make them not all at the same height. I kind of want them to look like they're flying kind of with each other or past each other. So I'm going to make sure I have a lot of sinew to work with. I'm going to thread my needle, poke it through, and then there we go. Now I'm gonna test it out, make sure the hole is where I want it. Yeah, it's leaning forward a little bit, but it's still it's still uh, doing a pretty good job. So I'm going to tie it off now. I always like to tie it off a couple of times just to make sure it's nice and sturdy. Cause I don't want it falling off my mobile. Okay, and now we're gonna attach all of these birds to the top of the mobile. So this might be a little tricky. You might wanna play around with this one. You might even wanna find a place to hang the top of your mobile up to make it easier to hang things off of it and judge the length of them. You could also just decide to use one stick and have them all coming down and off one stick. That's another option. You could have three sticks and have even more hanging off of it. So you can make your mobile as big or as small as you'd like. Oh, and I also had found a feather the other day. So I thought I'd add a feather and I thought I'd add the feather in the center part of my mo mobile. So it'd be hanging in the, from the center part here. So 
So let's see how this all turned out. And here it is, my mobile. So you can see I, I added the feather in the center and I have my birds all at some different kind of heights. So that way you can see them all clearly no matter which way the mobile turns and moves. So it looks like my birds are in flight. So I hope you have fun with this. Like I said, you might uh, need to do this with a partner or someone at home, uh, mainly just because I found that it was a lot easier to have it hanging when I was putting it together. Um, so just something you want to try out. But enjoy, have fun with it. Bye.